in the previous week the rupee has gained by 63 paisa per dollar following the significant gain of over 50 paisa per dollar registered on 27th august 2021 the deferment of fed tapering timeline as outlined in the jackson hole symposium has made the local stocks to significantly rise in the absence of rbi intervention rupee registered a high of 72.9175 on wednesday the highest level since 1st june 2021 the gain in the rupee by 120 paisa per dollar within a time frame of 5 days does not justify any shift in fundamentals sharp fall in forward dollar premium up to 3 month maturities as translated into a forward rupee appreciation of about 140 paisa per dollar equivalent to an appreciation of 1.92% for near term maturities we feel strong upside rally in the market is not justifiable since the rbi had let the market react on free float bias during the phase of export growth and measures announced by the government to achieve a target of usd 400 million for exports in the current fiscal it is imperative to maintain the exchange rate competitive to boost export growth in this background one can expect rbi to make a comeback and pile up the reserves to increase their hedges against hot inflows though the importers may have to incur lower forward cover cost for hedging their payables falling due up to december 2021 maturities the rupee depreciation risk which may arise due to possible tapering in the above period suggests that it would be a good strategy to lock in the forward exchange rate up to the december maturities of the importers at the current spot level of 73.10 or so due to strength in the rupee exchange rate the forwards up to 3 month maturities had fallen to 3.50% 3.55% and 3.60% per annum for 1 2 and 3 month maturities the forward exchange rate up to 6 month maturities have appreciated close to 1.75% or 130 paisa per dollar in a time frame of 1 week during the period from 31st december 2020 till 31 august 2021 bse sensex registered a sharp rise of 20.53% followed by gains of 18.72% in taiwan weighted index and 11.36% in kospi hang seng and philippines composite index fell by 4.96% and 3.97% in the corresponding period all the asian currencies had depreciated against the dollar in the above period except taiwanese dollar and chinese yuan which has appreciated by 1.50% and 1.47% respectively against the dollar indian rupee was flat in the corresponding period it is interesting to note that during the january to august 2021 period brent crude prices was up by 38.5% the 6 month forward dollar premium declined sharply by 0.84% to reflect a forward rupee appreciation in the 6 month tenor by 0.92% per annum in the set period among the non ferrous metallics copper prices registered a rise of 22.84% to 
in the period referred above. The overall rupee liquidity system, including government's cash balances with RBI, is over rupees 11 lakh crores, which factor we feel should have induced the RBI to abstain from intervention, while the rising rupee exchange rate brings down the imported inflation, the exchange rate becomes uncompetitive for exporters. All in all, we expect the RBI to re-enter the market at close to 72.80 level, which is considered as the stiff resistance level of the rupee. Rupee's firm bias is garnering support from equity markets as more than 10 companies are about to be listed and likely to rise close to rupees 17,000 crores. Two banks are in the process of issuance of tier one bonds for approximately USD 1.54 billion, which could add to the inflows. It should be noted that a net of rupees 11,865 crores came into the debt market in August, the highest inflow since March 2019. An amount of rupees 2,063 crore also came into the debt market via a longer term voluntary retention route.